Now to the latest on the growing Yellow Bluff fire burning on the Duval-Nassau County line. Right now, flames have charged 600 acres and the fire is 30 percent contained. The smoke cleared just enough this morning for the Florida Highway Patrol to reopen I-95 in both directions from State Road 200 to I-295. And so far, the interstate has stayed open. Here's a live look from Sky 4 for you where you can see the woods that are burning. If winds pick up and fan the flames, transportation officials say they are prepared to close 95 again. We sent our Sky 4 drone over the fire. You can see it is more under control than it was at this time yesterday, and the Forest Service used a helicopter to drop water on it. News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci has been with the firefighters. He's joining us live with an update. Vic? We still have a large firefight here, and that's why we see so many people from Jacksonville Fire and Rescue, as well as the Florida Forest Service. They are teaming up to make sure that this fire is 100% contained. That's not something they can do in a day, not even two or three. They're thinking that it's probably going to take several more days, possibly a week to get this thing completely contained. I want to show you the situation right now because the biggest impact for people in our viewing community is going to be traffic. So we are in a safe spot guarded by emergency vehicles on I-95. This is northbound traffic. You can see traffic going about half the speed as normal, and that's because one lane is closed here on the northbound side. That is to allow room for the emergency vehicles and for these first responders to do their job. So you have the Florida Highway Patrol helping with traffic control. They are monitoring the situation, making sure that you don't have any issues like what we had yesterday where the smoke was so bad and the flames were so close to the highway that they had to shut things down. And if you look in the distance past the JFRD Mobile Command Center, you can see several brush trucks and there's still some smoke and little flare-ups, they call them hot spots. They're putting those out as deep in the woods. The tractors and the bulldozers are doing everything they can to get this thing contained. Also a helicopter overhead. At times they had two separate helicopters from the state firefighters. They were picking up water with these giant buckets and then dropping it on the flames, on the hot spots there. Now they only have one helicopter. That helicopter was flying above us within the past hour. I spoke with neighbors as well as firefighters. Here's what they had to say. How's your wife feeling about all this? She was nervous, quite nervous about it. She wanted to let's get the heck out of Dodge, so to speak, last night. And I, after talking to the firefighters over there, she kind of calmed her down and so forth. But uh, she was ready to go to a motel immediately. Well, overall, I think everything's going good. The smoke's lifted, so we got a good dispersion layer today. And I think we're doing pretty good. We're gonna continue to work it, monitor it, and hit all the hot spots that flare up today. Look, from where we are standing, it's not that impressive. But if you look deep in the woods, you will see burned out areas. And every 50 feet or so, you have the trees and the spots where the flames got within about 20 to 25 feet of the highway. That is obviously too close for comfort. That's why authorities decided to shut it down yesterday. But as you look in the distance, you have Jacksonville firefighters working with state of Florida firefighters teaming up, working around the clock. We know there's dozens of JFRD firefighters here. Also about 50 people with the Florida Forest Service working around the clock to make sure that they do have this fire out. At last check, it is 600 acres in size and about 30% contained. We'll keep you posted for now. We're live on the north side, Vic Nicolucci, Channel 4, the local station.